Now we're going to look at finding the equation of a tangent to a circle. So we've been given a circle with the equation x squared plus y squared equals 25. So we should know, or we need to know, that the centre of this circle is at 0, 0. And it's got a radius of square root 25, so 5. So x squared plus y squared equals 25 has centre 0, 0 and radius 5. We're being asked to find the equation of a tangent to a circle at the point 4 minus 3. So 4 minus 3. How do we work it out? Well, we need to know that the radius, so from the centre to our point, meets the tangent at 90 degrees. That's one of the circle theorems. So tangent meets radius at a 90 degree angle. And that means that this red line here, this radius here, and the tangent are perpendicular lines. So we can work out the gradient of our radius and then flip a minus or negative reciprocal to find the gradient of the tangent. So we've got two points. We've got 4 minus 3 that we know and 0, 0. So we know two points on the radius and we can label them x1, y1, x2, y2. And gradient is changing y over changing x. So the gradient of the radius is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It doesn't matter which way you label them. If you have x2, y2 and x1, y1, you get exactly the same answer. So we've got y2, which is 0. Take away y1, which is negative 3. x2 is 0. Take away x1, which is 4. So 0, take away negative 3. 0 plus 3, take away negative, take away a minus is a plus. So we've got 3 and 0 minus 4 is minus 4. So that's minus 3 quarters. So that's the gradient of the radius. So the gradient, so for the tangent, gradient is going to be the negative reciprocal of this. So this is negative. So our gradient is going to be positive for the tangent and flipped over, so 4 thirds. So the tangent's got a gradient of 4 thirds. And now we're going to substitute in to our equation of a line, which is y equals mx plus c. So the gradient is 4 thirds. So I'm going to change m into 4 over 3. So y equals 4 over 3x plus c. And we know a coordinate on the line, 4 minus 3. So we can substitute 4 in for x and minus 3 in for y. So that gives us minus 3 equals 4 over 3 times 4 plus c. 4 thirds times 4. 4 fours are 16, so it's 16 thirds plus c. And we need to take away 16 thirds from both sides. So minus 3 minus 16 thirds is c. It's our y-intercept. And minus 3 minus 16 thirds if we don't have a calculator, we're going to have to make the denominators the same. So 3 over 1 at the moment, times in top and bottom by 3, 
is minus 9 thirds. So minus 9 thirds minus 16 thirds is minus 25 thirds. So our equation is y equals 4 thirds x minus 25 over 3. Okay, another question. So we've got a circle has the equation x squared plus y squared equals 169. So we know the center is 0, 0. So it goes through 0, 0. And its radius is square root 169, which is 13. Find an equation of the tangent to the circle at the point 5, 12. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to find the gradient of the radius and then do the negative reciprocal to find the gradient of the tangent because a tangent meets a radius at a 90 degree angle. So first step, we're going to find the gradient of the radius. So that's the line that goes through 0, 0 and 5, 12. And we're going to use change in y over the change in x. And, well, it's going to be a lot easier to say x1, y1, x2, y2. So we're going to have 12 take away 0 over 5 take away 0, which is 12 over 5. So that's the gradient of our radius. And we're going to find the gradient of the tangent which is going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient we just worked out. So this is positive. What we worked out was positive. So the gradient of the tangent is going to be negative. And 12 fifths flipped over is 5 twelfths. So the gradient of our tangent is negative 5 twelfths. And now we're going to substitute into the equation of a line y equals mx plus c. So we're going to have y equals negative 5 twelfths x plus c. And we know one coordinate on the tangent, which is 5 12. So we can use that x is 5 when y is 12 to find the y intercept to find out what c is. So I'm going to change y into 12 and x into 5. So 12 equals minus 25 over 12. Minus 5 twelfths times 5 is minus 25 twelfths plus c. And I'm going to add 25 twelfths to both sides. To find my y-intercept. So if you have a calculator, you can just type that straight in. If we don't have a calculator, we're going to have to make the denominators the same. So at the moment, 12 is 12 over 1. So to change it to twelfths. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 12, which is going to be 144 over 12, plus 25 over 12, which is 169 over 12. So our equation is y equals, the gradient was minus 5 twelfths, x and the y-intercept is 169 twelfths. Okay, here's another question. If you want to pause the video, give it a go, do that. Otherwise, just keep watching and I'll go through the solution. 
So we've got a circle now with an equation x squared plus y squared equals 100. So it's at center at 0, 0 and a radius of 10 this time. Find the equation of the tangent to the circle at minus 6, minus 8. So we know the radius goes through 0, 0 and minus 6, minus 8. So we're going to work out the gradient of the radius by doing the change in y over the change in x. So minus 8 take away 0 over minus 6 take away 0, which is minus 8 over minus 6 which is the same as 8 over 6, which is the same as 4 thirds. So in the simplest form, the gradient of the radius is 4 thirds. And because a radius meets a tangent at a 90 degree angle, we've got perpendicular lines. So the tangent's gradient is a negative reciprocal of 4 thirds, which is minus 3 over 4. So we're going to substitute into y equals mx plus c. We know the gradient is minus 3 over 4, and it goes through the point minus 6, minus 8. So I'm going to substitute in the gradient. So y equals minus 3 quarters x plus c. And I know when x is minus 6, y is minus 8. So I can substitute them in to find c. So minus 8 equals minus 3 quarters times minus 6 plus c. So minus 8 equals... Minus 3 quarters times 6, so negative 3 times negative 6 is positive 18. So 18 over 4, which I can simplify, so I'll do that. So 18 over 4, I can divide top and bottom by 2, so 9 over 2. And I'm going to take away 9 over 2 from both sides. We could write 9 over 2 as 4.5. That might make it easier. Or we could leave it as fractions. So if we left it as fractions, we'll have negative 16 over 2 take away 9 over 2, which is negative 25 over 2. As C, we could have changed it to decimals and had negative 12 and a half. It's the same thing. So we've got y equals, the gradient is minus 3 quarters, x minus 25 over 2.